Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I am going to assemble and review. This is the modular wide mobile chest from Simply Tidy. I got this for my wife for Christmas. I picked it up at Michael's. Um, it is extremely heavy, so make sure that you have help, uh, you know, moving this around. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything out of the box um, and organized, and I'll be right back when I'm done. Okay, so here's everything out of the box, and there are lots of parts and pieces. Um, and on each piece, they put one of these little stickers on there with a letter so you know what that piece is. Like, for instance, this one is J. Um, and then over here, we have the hardware box. This has a bunch of different stuff in it as well. And then we have the instructions right here. So before you begin, make sure that you read through the instructions and understand them completely. These will tell you everything that you need to know on how to assemble this both safely and properly. And make sure that you wear the proper safety equipment. I'll have on a pair of safety goggles and make sure that you take all safety precautions. And it does look like we are going to need a Phillips head screwdriver that they don't include. So I'm going to get that now and I'll be right back. Okay, so for step one, we need, we're going to be building three drawers here. So step one, we need uh, three of the H pieces. And then for each piece, we need six of the number five. So we need 18 of the number fives. And so I have the three H pieces here, and I've screwed in most of these just so you guys don't have to watch that, but I am going to do the last one here so you can see it. And I needed 18 of these from this bag here that says number five, and this came out of the hardware uh, box there. So um, I'm just going to take this here, and once I get it going in here, and you don't want to like over tighten these. You just want to get them in until they're tight like so because you don't want them like, you know, popping out or damaging the other side or stripping them out. So um, now these three pieces are done. We're going to move on to the next piece. Okay, so for the other part of the drawer here in step two, we need I, K, and J. And then we're also, for each drawer, we're going to need four of the um, screws here from bag number two. So here's bag number two, right here, um, and you need four of these for each um, each one of these sections here of the drawer. So I've already done two. I'm going to do the third one now so you guys can see it. Um, here is I, and here is K. So uh, when I put this on, you can see here how these um, slots in the wood line up. So we're going to get the screws ready here. And I'm just going to get these started in there a little bit, like so. And then they give you this hex key here, and you just use that to uh, twist these screws in here. And I'm going to get that one started, and then I'll get this one going here. Make sure everything's lined up there, like so. And then doing this one here. And then you want to get these tightened down, but um, you know, like I said earlier, you don't want to over tighten anything. Um, so you just want to make sure that these are tight, but don't over tighten anything. So this is for I and K. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side with uh, J here. And here's the J one here, so I'll line this up and do the same thing, and then I'll be right back for step number three. Okay, so for step three here, we are adding in uh, piece M to our, uh, you know, three-sided structure that we just built for the shelves. Um, so here is piece M, um, and what you want to do is make sure that when we put this in, these uh, two uh, holes that are cut out here are facing... Um, the outside like so. So um, if you can see here, I got the two holes facing away from the shelf. Um, and then I'm going to line that up. And then we need, for each of these, we need two of the screws from bag number two. So I'm going to get those started here like so. 
Okay, and then I'm going to use the Allen wrench that they gave us here um, and just start tightening these down. I'll do that one a little bit. And then I'm going to do this one a little bit. And I'm making sure too when I do this, um, when they get down here uh, closer to being all the way tight, you want to make sure that your you know piece is in there straight. So okay, I'm just double checking here that everything's straight, and then tightening these up. And same thing, you want these tight, you just don't want them over tight. So, um, okay, so now I am going to move on to the next step. Okay, and then for step four here, we're going to put, um, you know, the bottom of the shelf in, uh, which is labeled L. And this will just go in like so. You want the white part of the shelf, uh, of the bottom of the shelf, uh, facing this direction. And then I'm just sliding this down. And then once it gets to the bottom here, we just want to make sure that it fits into the slot down there like so. Okay, so for step five here, um, this comes out of bag number five and you need six of these for each of the shelves and they just come out of bag number five there. Two go here, two go here, and then two go over here. And you face these, there's, there's an arrow on them that points up. So when you install these in, you want to make sure that that arrow is pointing up. So we can get these in here like so. If you need to, you can use the screwdriver just to make sure that the arrow is pointing up. I've already installed the other two here and the other two here. And then we're going to take piece H that we put together and we're going to put it so... Um, you know, this dip right here is facing this way. Um, and then you're going to set these screws into each of the holes on each of the side. And I'm going to do that now. Okay. Like so. And then you want to make sure that when you put this down, the shelf here, the bottom of the shelf fits into uh, the slot on the bottom of this piece. Um, so you might have to kind of uh, move it around just a little bit to get it to sink down all the way in place. Uh, this one here. Let me make sure I have the up facing the right way. There we go. It's just about, I think there it went. And yeah, you can look, if you take a look before you tighten everything down, um... Now you can see how over here it looks good, but then when we look right here, it didn't, or it, you know, until I just moved it down there. Make sure that the bottom of the shelf here, there we go, like that. Um, it's just, it was just a matter of moving the bottom part of the shelf to fit in place. Um, and then we're just going to turn these pieces um, clockwise until they stop, and that locks those screws in place. There we go, and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And it's only about, I don't know, roughly a quarter of a turn or so before it stops. Um, and there we go. Okay, so um, for the next step on the drawers, there's these bundles here, and if you take this piece of tape off um, in the bundle, there are two different types of pieces. Um, these ones here kind of have like a, um, a piece at the end that like flares out here. Those ones are for the uh, inside of the cabinet. So we're just going to set those to the side for now. And then there are these two here. Um, one goes on one side and one goes on the other on the bottom of the cabinet. Um, you need four of these screws from package number three, um, and then you also need four of these plastic pieces from package number 11 for each drawer. Um, when you put this on, um, the wheel needs to be the opposite of where the drawer handle is. So like here's this side here. And what I do is I start one of the screws. Um, don't need to get it in there all the way, but just start it. 
And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other screw down at the other side. And then we can start twisting these in. I just do a little on each side. And same thing, you want these tight, but they don't need to be, um, you know, you don't want to over tighten these because you can strip out the, the wood really easily. So here's what this one looks like. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, okay? But I'll, I'll do that off video. Since I showed you guys this one, I won't show you the other one. And the other thing I wanted to show you, so for each side, you get these plastic pieces at the front. So on the, the handle side of the drawer, and on the inside, there's like a little uh, cross there, and you just match that up um, with these here. And then you press down, and I notice these do go in pretty tough, but you know, I'm putting pressure on the other side of the drawer, you know, so I'm not, uh, you know, forcing down the wood here. Um, and then that's what that looks like, and I'll do the other one here. And same thing. Just putting pressure on the underside of the drawer. And these cover up, um, you know, those pieces there and just blend into the, the white drawer. So, um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up the other side here and then I'll be back and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so these three drawers are done. And these are the ones with like the larger uh, front piece here. So now we're going to be building the three uh, smaller size drawers. And these are uh, very similar in steps to what we just did to build these three doors. So I'm not going to include this in the video because it's essentially just doing the same thing with different parts and pieces. So just follow along in your instructions there and we'll build the other three shelves here. Um, and then when I'm done, I'll come back and I'll show you what those look like. All right, guys, so these three drawers are done here, and it was a lot of the same thing. Um, they did introduce a new piece here, these wood dowels, um, and you use those in steps eight and step 11, so just be aware of that. So to build these three drawers with steps uh, seven through 12. So we're moving on to step 13 now, and I'll be right back once I get all these pieces set up. All right, guys, so for step 13 here, what I did is I lined up uh, side A and B, uh, just like they have in the picture here. And the screws for step 13 that we're going to be using um, are the package of three screws, and you'll end up needing um, 36 of these. And then you gotta pay really close attention because, um, you know, there, there are sets of these and one of the sides will go on this side and one of the side will go on this side. So you look at the orientation of how I have these, um, you know, on each side and they also show that in here as well. And then you can see here, you want to make sure you line up the screw holes properly. Um, you know, so on side A here, it starts on the, the second hole from the wheel there, if you can um, see that there. Um, and then on side B here, and then the rest of the holes will line up, um, you know, once you line that one up. And then on side B here, it, it, uh, the first screw goes on the second hole from the wheel there, and then the rest of the screw holes will line up. So um, I have this last one here, and I was just going to do that with you guys. And I put the middle one in first here. And I just get it in there a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to take the next one and put it into that side there. And I'm not putting these all the way in yet. Um, I'm just getting them in there a little bit, just making sure that everything uh, lines up. And then this one will go in, you can see the um, uh, second hole from the wheel there. I have that pre-lined up. And then I'm just going to tighten everything down. And then I'm just, you know, I'm getting it tight, but you don't want to over tighten these because you don't want to strip them out. And there we go. So um, now we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, so for step 14, we're using 10 of the number five screws and then 10 of the wood dowels. And I have most of these in place, um, but I saved a couple here for the end. Um, so here are four here. 
uh, here are four here of the number fives, and then here's a number five here, and the other number five will go right there. And then for the wood dowels, um, I have one here, 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 and here. And then the same thing on this side, one here, 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 and here. And then we put one here, and the other one goes right here. Um, and on these um, ones on the, the edges, you want to make sure that you get them in the correct spot. There are two different holes down there. Um, and so just pay attention to the uh, diagram here. But it goes um, on the second one in from this side and then on the second one in uh, from this side as well. Um, and it's just like that, you know, on each of the sides. So um, let's put this one in here really quick. And same thing, just get it in there uh, tightened down, but just, uh, you know, I've probably said this a few times now, but you just, you don't want to over tighten this stuff because if you strip it, um, there's, you know, it's going to be a problem. So um, the next thing we're going to do is move on to step 15, uh, which is going to require us to put these uh, pieces here um, into G and F. And then we're going to use piece R here um, to uh, get the side, you know, that will come in right here on each of the, you know, this is B and this is A. Um, and we're going to use these on R as well. So um, let me get these sides set up with G, R, and F in there. Um, and once I do, I'll be back and we'll take a closer look at it. Okay guys, so step number 15 is done and um, this took two of us. This took me and my wife. Um, you know, this would be hard to do as one person and I think that if you did try that, um, you have a chance of damaging the pieces. So um, for us, this was a two person job. And when you put these on, you just wanna make sure that you put them on the right way. Um, and there's a change here. So when you're when you're putting the tracks on, side A is on the left and B is on the right um, for steps 13 and uh, 14 here. But as soon as you move to step 15, this is side B over here on the left and then side A on the right. So be aware of that. And what we did is we you know hooked pieces G, R, and F up to the left side first and then tightened everything down and then we hooked up uh, G, R, and F to side A here, the right side, um, and then got everything tightened down. And this right here that we're looking at, this is the bottom of the cabinet. Um, and so make sure that you have the, um, you know, the wood grain side here, uh, you know, facing up as it is now, even though, you know, technically this is the bottom. And then, you know, this side here is the laminated white side. And then down on the bottom here, uh, you know, the top, what the top is down here, but currently at the bottom, you have the laminated white side here, and then you have the wood, um, you know, the wood side on the, the other side here. So just be aware of that. So um, the next thing that we're going to do is to put side uh, piece D on the top here, what currently is the top, but again, this is the bottom. Um, and then we're going to use 10 of uh, screw number two uh, to tighten this all down. So let me put piece D on the top here now. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up uh, the bottom piece of D here um, with the dowels uh, that we have in place. Um, and there's two on each side. So I'm just gonna kind of set this down here and then I'm gonna to try to line this up like so. And that, uh, you know, sunk right into place. And then um, let's see here. Here are the um, number two screws here and they're going to use the Allen wrench. And the way that I'm going to do this is I'm gonna put one in here, and then instead of going in a straight line um, after I get this one tightened, and you don't wanna like tighten it all the way yet, you just wanna get it down in there. But instead of going in a straight line like this, 
I'm gonna kind of alternate sides and the top. Um, and by doing that, you have uh, less of a chance that this is going to become misaligned. So I'm just getting these, you know, down in there pretty far, but not all the way tight yet. Um, and then I'll do one on the top here. And I'll just kind of alternate around like that until I get them uh, all in there. And then I'll go back and I'll tighten them all down all the way. Um, so once I get this done, I will be right back. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the next step, which is step 17. Um, and that is putting on the roller wheels here. Um, so we're going to get the roller wheels and then we're going to get um, the screws from bag number six. So there are the screws there. And here are the roller wheels. So um, let's see here. We're just going to make sure we follow the same uh, orientation. So two of these wheels have stoppers on them and two do not. So um, they have the stopper goes here and then the regular wheel without, I take that back, let's see here. Yeah, that's right. The stopper goes on this one here and then the uh, regular wheel goes back here. And then on this side, we have the stopper like so. And the regular wheel goes on the back. And then we're just going to use the number six screws to get these tightened down. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And when I'm done, I'll be back. Okay guys, so we have all the rollers on and there's the four screws on each of the rollers. Um, and the next thing we need to do is to um, get over um, uh, the cabinet here. We need to gain access to the other side. So I'm just going to gently set it down like this. And then I'm going to move to the other side here and I'm just grabbing onto the sides and then gently lifting this up like so. And now that it's on rollers, I can move it back to my work area here. And I'm going to turn it around like this. And now we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so the next step 18 here is putting in um, E. And there's two sides to E. Um, there's a left and a right. And then there's this piece that goes in the middle here. Um, this plastic piece is number 12. And it doesn't like when you put this on here, it doesn't like fit on there really tightly. Um, so it looks like what it says to do in the instructions here is we're going to put the right side in first. And I'm sliding that down the back like so, and then just making sure it fits into the bottom like that. There we go. And then we're going to take this plastic piece. And I'm gonna fit it on the side here. And it will just go all the way down like that. And I'm just holding this here because it's still, you know, wobbly. Um, and then I'm gonna take the other E here and I'm going to, hold on here, okay. I'm going to fit it into that side and then into the plastic piece here. Maybe the plastic piece first. Let me try setting this down for a second. There we go, I think we have more room now. It wasn't uh, fit in on this side all the way. So now I think it's gonna fit in easier. At least I hope so. There we go. And then I'm just gently putting this down. Like so. Okay. 
and there we go. My wife helped hold this piece here while I was getting it in. It's a little tricky. Um, just take your time and uh, you can see that it fits in there. But that's how I did it. And it looks like that's how they explain it in the manual. Like you put one side in, then you put the plastic piece in, then you put the other side in. Um, and now that plastic piece uh, joins the, the back wall here together. Um, okay, so now we're going to move on to step 19, um, which uh, starts with PC. So I'll be right back. Okay, so for step number 19, we put eight of the number five screws into PC here, uh, which we've already done. Um, and then for step 20... Um, we've put the other uh, side of piece five uh, into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we're going to, uh, for the rest of step 20, we're going to fit piece C uh, onto the top of the cabinet here. And, okay, so, um, and we have our dowels in there. Um, we have two dowels on each side, so make sure that you have those there. And then we're just going to fit this in here. And this might be a little tricky just because there's a lot of pieces that you have to fit together. Um, okay, that one started. Yeah, this one... There's just a lot of a lot of different um, screws that go into a lot of different holes, and then with the dowels and everything, um, just be patient. And once you get everything lined up, you don't want to put too much force, um, but things should start to kind of fall into place. Um, and then you also have to make sure that the back uh, drops into that channel as well. Let's take a look here. Make sure that nothing's getting held up, um, you know, with the, the pieces uh, that fit in here, these, these pieces here. Like you can see when I put the shelf in, how this one started to come out. So I'm just going to turn it back until the arrow's up. And then you can see that that sank down into place better. So uh, once you see everything in place, then I'm just going to go through and tighten these all down like so. And then we're getting there. It's getting close. So let me get that one again and that one again. Okay, um, so now we're on to the next step where it's showing, you know, the three larger drawers go on the bottom and then the three smaller drawers go on the top. Um, and then they just show you here, you start at the bottom and work to the, t uh, you go six, five, four, three, then one, then two is the order that you put these shelves in. Um, so let's start um, with the bottom shelves here. I'm going to grab one now, and the wheels here on each side, you just fit over the wheels here, and then they should drop right into the track. So, being gentle here, like so. There's the first drawer, very cool, starting to come together. Now we're going to do the next one here. And same thing, we're just fitting those wheels over the other wheels. And then it should drop down into the track like so. Okay, so here is the next one here. There we go. This is looking really cool so far. So now we're going to do the next one here, which is the first little shelf like so. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to do the top shelf before we do shelf number two. And this one 
is a little bit snugger of a fit. You can see how I did that. I just want to show you guys here. So you kind of, um, you know, fit it in like this where the wheels are in there and then you just gently start to move it like that until it uh, gets into place like that. Okay, so then there's that shelf. So to get shelf two in, it shows us right here, we need to pull shelf one out a little bit. And we're going to put shelf two in like this. And by having shelf one out a little bit, it gives us that little bit extra room that we need to get shelf two in. And then we can shut shelf one and we can shut shelf two. Okay, so then for the last step here, we're going to move this uh, to where we want it, which for now is here. My wife may want to move this somewhere else, but for the moment we'll put it here. And then you're going to lock the wheels in place, um, which, you know, are these things right here. You just push these down um, and it locks the wheels into place. And then package 10 here has these, and we're going to use these to cover up these holes like so. And this fit in there pretty snugly. And then once we have those fit in there, all right, guys, so yeah, this came out looking great, you know, and it did take some time. I think it probably took us about, I don't know, three or four hours or so. So there, there's definitely some time invested to build this, but it came out looking great. And that's my advice, you know, is just take your time, be patient, uh, don't rush anything. And, you know, you should come out with a nice looking cabinet like this at the end. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.